Alright, to the next section, I'll try and finish all the sections in this next 15 minute segment so I don't need too much videos to look at. So the next section up is the metallurgy collection, up to two marks you could get. So this is how, when, where and from whom your data was collected and have different ways to collect the data depending on the type of SBA that you're doing. So again, if it was uh, money, consumer ticket take SBA, most likely you might personally interview somebody, whether it's a sales rep or a um, loans officer, something like that, right? You could also use questionnaires and surveys depending on again, the type of SBA. So it's sort of be one um, with the average, if you want to find out something, you would have a questionnaire and ask in it. Uh, you have observation, examination of records, case studies or experiments. So this one would be similar to the experiment the girl was carrying out to see how long they have to wait in line in the school cafe. So these are again some sample methods of data collection. So for the same one, a, a different one, sorry, uh, this one is a stove, three furniture stores, so it's very specific about the brand of the stove and size of the stove, they tell me when, where, which is the locations, who is the customer service representative and what I did, I briefly interviewed them. So those are the four types that they asked and these are just some of the questions or that. Ask, so with higher prices, so they'll normally give you a card. And, and these would be at the different stores they visited. You realize we didn't use any store names up here because we're not we, we're keeping it their privacy and the the businesses that we use in case we embarrass One was also on higher purchases, but this question did up. This person did up a questionnaire, so you can see the questionnaire here. Just to show you what that questionnaire would look like, it's a short questionnaire. So you would hand these to each of the people he interviewed, and they would answer these or, or write in the answer. So here, as he answered, not was above, as just a little more formal. That's how this person did it. And this one was for the wait time in the. on a lunch time and recorded the time they spent in the computer and again they didn't want to use the students names to identify and table they would have recorded their information in so anything hard copy that you get to your raw data realize this is hard in your appendix which is the next section only if you get something physical right so you could put that there that's just some extra stuff that you have that you didn't want to bulk up the body of the SBA with and so people could double check oh where you really get the data from this is where you get the data from change and they'll use a histogram to demonstrate that so the next section up is the most important section in terms of marks and it's it's a mass SBA doing so this is where the main max piece is going to come out so this is where you're going to have your calculations ready those are graphs, those things go here. Show you what again some examples would look like. Add a table, because you expect it to have tables if you look back at the rubric. You want to see tables and graphs, at least a table or a graph showing some sort of statistical data or something. Here he, the guy who's buying the car. You have three dealers again in a call in the names at dealer A, the asking price and the financing price. price. If you don't have that, you have to take the financing plan, which over time coming up to that. That was just a summary and underneath it you have the actual calculations at each of those dealerships. And you can see that here. So this is calculations for dealership A and how we work it out based on the numbers they would have given him. For dealership B calculations and how it would have worked out for the numbers they gave him, down payment plus whatever and then for dealership C and once he get all his information he compared it on a graph and again this will be done on Excel
Here's some other examples. This is the one with higher purchase. Again, just a sample calculation with higher purchase. It has a formula, and you can see the formula here. So they make sure I'm putting the formula and showing where all the numbers coming out on the formula. And next one again, the calculations could look different. So this was the one with either the stove or the refrigerator. I can't remember which one, but you can see how they they tell different, and then they had the graph as well. They label the graph properly because you must label here. Give your graph a name. Um, have the uh, the the labels color coded whatever but they must have a properly labeled time so when they recorded it they didn't want it to be too long so they're gonna do a frequency distribution and got some of the statistical stuff for this and then after that they would have used one of these statistical graphs A graph but for brevity sake I didn't put that in up next after that is the analysis of data so in this section you're really going to compare and contrast what your data and your calculations will show right so what do your results mean you have to discuss what the results mean in the next section project what is your data saying if you notice patches trend patterns and trends and so on using percentages so in the these two sections analysis and the next section discussion that's usually where a student loses one mark so once you have something here usually you'll get one mark but to get the two marks you have to be a little more detailed so let me show you especially for the a dealership a that's how much the financing price was. That was the asking price. He found the difference in price. I'll show you what's the difference between the asking price and if I was to take a financing plan from them. And you're paying 27. Found that as a percentage. And when he worked that out, so it's basically the percentage extra he would pay by using a financing plan. Is you might be able to pay cash who have $112,000 lying around? No, so that's why you might have to take the financing plan. And all of those things can come out in the discussion and conclusion. So, again, just some different ways he gets his percentages. That's all he had to put for his analysis. Same thing here for the higher purchase one. Same idea. Find the difference between. to get your two marks from uh, look at next time and same idea cash price higher purchase price they find the difference in price and then find it as a percentage for the statistical one they would have find some different stuff you can see here find the midpoints and then those range uh, using the total frequency and the and again, those are the things we did in statistics previously, but you realize it's a little more difficult looking than the money topics. So the discussion now, the discussion again is an next popular place students lose marks. You're going to clearly state what you get from the analysis. So everything up to this point, you're going to discuss here. What you found out, um, how it related to the purpose of the project, especially what you're trying to determine or investigate and it must always be linked like I said to your title and introduction whatever you're discussing here you can't introduce nothing new that you never mentioned before you don't bring in anything new here and again you'll see better with the examples so again we're going back to the this just to show you some of the things you'll notice about the project right up to this point up to the analysis that is all three stores offered a cap cash price option and a higher purchase option that, that was visited. The higher purchase option sometimes required a down payment. Sometimes they don't need a down payment. Some stores had warranty. Some stores you had to pay for the warranty. And then 
analysis the 80 percentages that you get from the analysis here as well this is what the other one this is the one with the car Selected up to this point each car dealership had a financing plan if you had the cash the asking price or cash price was the cheapest option he mentioned again his percentage Well, and then he talked about what he noticed with the dealers and what he was offering. Again, all of these things he had stated previously in his method of data collection and so on. And then he just talked some more about what he would have noticed. So you can see it there. Let me just see. see. Alright, purchasing a vehicle, it had financing and other methods. And he basically shopped around. This is the one from. The statistics one with the wait time at the cafeteria so the data presented they had the mean wait time they had the median wait time so these are the terms that would have come out of the analysis by the way when you work out your analysis you look at these 12 students waited 26 to 36 minutes and they discussed the information that they would have gotten in the analysis Done. After that is one of the easier parts of the SBA, which is the conclusion. The conclusion is just a clearly written paragraph that has to answer your purpose statements. Right? Just asking something, and here we're going to answer it. So in some of the purpose statements, which which of the three stores had the most affordable higher purchase plan or whatever, this is the one with the financing side. Which dealership had the most economical plan? So he did a summary of what each dealership had. And then he come back and use the same wording. He would have asked which dealer had the most economic plan. And in this part here, you're going to answer that question. Which dealer had the most economic He had the most economical financial option. And why? It, it had built-in stuff. Um, tint alarm, the warranty made it better. So he explained. He answered his question and explain why he chose that option as well. Same thing here, the guy with the 43 inch Samsung smart television, which store had the most affordable higher purchase plan or whatever wording he used. And then here he answered that. Right? After thorough investigation, store two had the better plan. Why? This has to answer your purchase purpose statement, reword it and answer it based on the data you collect throughout the body of the SPA. So these you don't get marks for it but it's for, for completeness sake. You have which I will tell you about so whatever you consult or cite to be books can be websites you put it here. So this is where the references will look like. When they get the definitions these are the places they get the definitions from and they just cut it and paste it and put it here. If it was a textbook you cut it and paste it and put it here. So these are just some examples of what a reference will look like. You just cut it, paste it and put it there. But that's what you use or refer to to get your definition. Again, the appendix is where your raw data and your questionnaires, physical questionnaires that people fill out, that will go here. However, because this is a soft copy SPA you have to do, uh, meaning you can't send those things up because we're doing everything on the computer. You have to scan. Right, which is again extra work. Cam scanner will do it fast, but it's extra work. It's usually the money. Well, presentation up to two marks. Once you have proper grammar and spelling, you could get those two marks. But if you have too much, then you'll lose that mark. So just about a thousand would limit up. However, if you have 20 or 30 pages in the SPA, then they'll be like obviously across the thousand word limit and they automatically might take away a mark. Because obviously too long. So keep that in mind. We'll have a cover page that comes in at the end. That's something you'll finalize after. And just in case you lose stuff which is happening, save your project in multiple locations, right? On a flash drive, on a computer, email is one of the best, and email it to other people as well. Lastly, very easy to get over 15 out of 20. But make sure and follow these guidelines and whatever feedback you get from your teacher as well. 